Lisbon Fate, Saint of Lust, with free the Lust Wedding. It is Lisbon's wedding of the year. Crowds gather at the cathedral, hoping to catch a glimpse of the newlyweds at Camlet Lion Wait. Suddenly, the organ music grows louder and photographers get into position in front of the imposing entrance. Then not one, but eleven couples walk out, fresh from tying the knot Wednesday, June 12. In an all expense paid ceremony, the beneficiaries of the decade long annual tradition that fates the Portuguese capital's beloved patron saint, Anthony, matchmaker extraordinaire. Commenced by sponsors and live TV broadcasts, Couples who would not otherwise have the means are gifted of a lust wedding worth 400,000 euros, about 23.4 million. Couples like fishmongers Sonia Silva and Orlando Antun, who are getting a not taste of mega fame on the eve of St. Anthony Day on June 13, the high point of St. Long Street Dancing, Sardine Grilling Festivities in Lisbon. We have been together for nearly 15 years, Silva said. We always joke that we would one day get married for St. Anthony. It is a sumptuous ceremony which we could never afford. Interview, fell by poor Sonia and her sister bride. The day begins early in the city hall. Four hours, they sit in front of identical mirrors in a room normally used for town hall meetings, listen trademark trams passing in the street, outside. Hairdressers and makeup artists who competed nationwide for the honor of styling buses and felt around the bride. A television presenter diving in for the odd interview, an anxious parent taking a swift selfie. Silva is slightly nervous. I am trying to keep calm but it is difficult, she said laughing, as her hairdresser picks her blonde locks into an echo. In the room next door hung various white weddings, dresses, all donated by different designers. Breathe. One bride chose, as a helper tighten her lacy corset. All in all, 16 couples are getting married, five of them in a civil ceremony. They go first, appearing on the balcony of City Hall after the event, waving down to a cheering crowd as a band from Lisbon University plays a serenade and a television drone films the moment. The 11 other couples are destined for the cathedral, some 650 meters away up a steep hill at the entrance of Lisbon's famed Alfano Old Quarter. The brides are driven up the cobbled street in convertible vintage cars, getting out one by one and forming an orderly line as they wait to enter. Two hours later, the couples walk out, married, smiling. There is still more to come. Bruce photos, the first dance, interviews, and another public appearance in a giant parade in the evening. Single people who dropped after the 1974 Carnation Revolution that overthrew the dictatorship, it was reintroduced by authorities in Lisbon in 1997. Its origins though are far older. St. Anthony of Padua was a Portuguese Catholic priest born in the 12th century and widely believed to have potent matchmaking skills. To this day, single people are gifted statuettes representing him. At home, they are supposed to turn his face to the wall as a form of punishment until they find their cellmate. Only then can St. Anthony face the room again. Over the years, the wedding tradition has evolved with civil ceremonies now included, said artistic director Luis Moreira, while numbers have dwindled from the peak of around 50 to 15 couples. It is no longer called St. Anthony's Bride like in the old regime when it was focused more on women and was used to help young women find a husband, Moriera added. With the equality of men and women's rights, it has become the wedding of St. Anthony. One of the requirements for the 40 to 60 couples who apply every year is that at least one of the pair lives in Lisbon. Lisbon's population is getting older. The idea is to rejuvenate the city, to attract young couples and give them a hand at the start of their life together, said chief organizer Maria do Carmo Rosa. Related stories, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.